Hi, my name is David, and this is a look, a fast look at uh, Caden Live 22.08, uh, and this is the latest version of Caden Live released on August 22nd, 2022. Uh, and basically, uh, the focus of this video is on subtitle styling. Uh, just uh, what they mean that they have an initial implementation of styling subtitles and it allows you to modify the font, font size, font and outline colors, add shadows, set position and background color. So more options are expected in the next releases. Hopefully we'll see what's available. Uh, they've also added support for VTT subtitles or web video text track and SBV subtitles. Uh, this is more or less uh youtube subtitle format so uh, let's look at the subtitle styling uh for this particular release of caden live uh 22.08 so let's begin by adding our video uh just drag and drop this one here switch let's add it to the timeline there's our video so if you don't have subtitles for this you can start creating subtitles from scratch you can go to project subtitles and subtitle or shift s you can also use the speech recognition feature for some strange reason i've not got any to work on my version of caden live uh, since the last version not sure why but because i have the srt subtitle for this then i'll just go to subtitles import subtitle and the dialog box that is going to pop up is the import subtitle dialog box so you'll have the option to open or navigate to the folder with your subtitle. So I'll just click on this and navigate to that folder. And from this section, uh, you, I'll just choose whatever subtitle that's available. Just click on open. And uh, there are a couple of options you may need to check. So for example, the subtitle I, I just uh, I imported here that I want to use is already timed. Therefore, I will not check this import a timeline casa position because if you do that uh, with time subtitles you're going to mess everything up so i will not click on that and then we have the transform frame rate from 30 frames per second to 30 frames per second and this is if probably your frame rate is different maybe uh and it might and it might actually affect uh synchronization of your subtitles but that's not the case for me so i'll just click on okay once i do that the subtitles will populate up here and you can just play slightly with the recent update uh, let's... update on the youtube interface it's now easier than before to download youtube transcripts hi my name is david so the subtitles are available looking real good and all that now if you don't uh, see the dialogue for the subtitles you can click on one subtitle and to our bottom right here you'll see the subtitles section selected and you can click on it to see uh, what we get here, etc. Now, let's make some uh, changes. So, uh, let's assume you're not seeing this. It's because I've toggled uh, the show style options on. So, if I have it that way, we just have the interface where you can edit your subtitles. Now, if I click on it, we'll now have the option to change the font, the font size, font color, outline color, outline size, shadow, position, and background. So let's do that. Let's click on custom font. We want a custom font for this, but it looks good. Uh, this one uh, basically is Arial, uh, but we can look for maybe something like Helvetica. Let's go with Helvetica LT. That looks good as well. Custom font size. Uh, that looks good as well. Or maybe you can do something like 16. Looks good. You can choose a custom font color. If that is something that you're into, uh, you can change it to whatever. Click OK. Doesn't look good. Press on Control Z to undo that. Uh, basically, just choose the white again. Click OK. Now we have the custom outline. What color would you want to have as your outline? Now you can check on that and choose a color from this section. What you want to be the outline color. Let's say we go with red, not recommended, but doesn't look so bad. Now, you can also set the custom outline size uh, to whatever number of pixels you want. If you increase this, everything just get uh, the outline uh, combines, uh, but you can bring it down to maybe one point, just add one point. Looks good from there. 
Then you can add a custom shadow if you like that. But I feel that this is too much, but depends on your style. So if I just add this, you get, okay, sorry, that is one. Uh, if you add the custom, you'll see the shadow moving in that direction, but let's uh, leave out the shadow. Uh, so we can do a custom position where you can change the position for this to bottom left, if that's what you're into, uh, center left, and then we have top center, ATC. Really depends on what effect you're looking for. You also have the option to have an opaque background. And if I check on this, uh, now the outline is gone when we have an opaque background. So we can actually change this to black. Black will probably look better. And there we have it. It looks a little bit better. Now, one thing you need to note is that whatever styling you apply here or changes that you make here, they apply to all the subtitles that you have here which in my opinion is a little bit uh not the desired effect it would be awesome if i would be able to click on one subtitle box here or a block here and make the styles available if i would like to apply the style to all subtitles then there is an option to apply style to all subtitles and also options to save the styles that you create so that you can easily recreate the same effect over and over again so that's those are some of you my few suggestions for the subtitle styling that will need to be improved in future uh, maybe also uh, supporting two subtitle files uh, at once and then a uh, support for right to left subtitles uh, that is uh, for languages that are written and read from right to left arabic farsi persian adc all those languages so that's a fast look uh, and that is how the subtitle styling is working also, if it's possible uh, for the folks at Caden Live to support uh, styling that comes with advanced substation alpha or .ass subtitle, st subtitle styles, that would be awesome. Uh, so that we can just save a lot of time, especially if you work in an application like uh, Subtitle Edit uh, that also offers all those functionalities. But this is highly welcome. Uh, the style options, uh, the styling for subtitles, highly welcome. So. That's a fast look uh, in the latest version of Caden Live 22.08, the new subtitle styling features. That's it for me. My name is David. And until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.